back. Remember uh, when it's our go home show, so remember when. I am really glad that somebody sang since LB left. So uh, LB had to leave. He uh, had a uh, Mole Man uprising he had to go deal with. But we got uh, some great replacements here. Uh, of course, Wheels has joined us, as well as not one, two Carlins are joining us. So close, one can get a drink for the other one. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we're going to get some questions. But the question this week, um, submitted by uh, LB before he went to fight the Mole Man, was, um, so we have Slam City. I've been enjoying it. There's new episodes that went up again this week on uh, the WWE Network and, and, and actually free for everybody to check out at Slam City's website. Um, mm -hmm. so, so, so think back to, I mean, I... I I like it. It's something different. We have another idea of a cartoon coming out that where they're like campers and stuff. But there's been animation and there's been other TV projects over the years. Um, so why don't we remember when some of your favorite um, outside the box kind of things, like the recent Scooby Doo thing, like the Slam City, over the past however long. Um, so uh, who wants to go first? I know my pick, and I'm, I just know somebody's gonna. Pick Ooh, it. Me, me. I'll do it. Okay, Wheels. Oh, oh damn it. Ah. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's so early. about to be taken. I'm right? going to go. Why? Because if I don't, I know somebody will pick it. And I say Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm still available. That's good. Okay. I'm still, yeah. I, yeah, I still have mine. <laughs> that was like the easy one. For anybody who is like, no, there's an easier one. Is an easier one than that? Yep. Because I think anybody over what thirty um, remembers. Oh, Rock actually, there's a much easier one. Oh, okay. We'll get to that then. But no, I'm with <laughs> you. On, I'm with you on that, and uh, maybe I'll just tag team that as a remember one uh, because I mean that was I don't know that might be what got me into wrestling. To be honest, I might <laughs> I, I I might have found that first, and that drew me into the rest of it. To be honest, which is. Exactly what they're trying to do now, right? With like putting yeah. them with Scooby Doo, put doing the Slam City <coughs> stuff, you know, getting the little toys, you know, so so to get them started. So they're lifelong crazy fans that have a podcast that runs for eight years, like us later. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, what what are your memories of that uh, wheels? Honestly, I mean, like you said, it it's. I used to watch wrestling, just the live action, and then when it came out, I went. All right, let's see what this brings to the table for all of us. I'm like, okay. So I'm watching and I'm like, hey, this is entertaining, but why isn't that really their voices? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they could they couldn't do their own voice. It's not like they're doing their own action scenes. <laughs> but it entertained me. It it had that realm of wrestling, but it also gave you the quirkiness of cartoons. And and it really fit in um you know, the general context of Saturday morning cartoons at, at, at the time. Remember, we did have a cartoon for a while that had Wayne Gretzky, what, uh, Michael Jordan and Bo Jackson as superheroes. Oh, wow, sports yeah. Sports-themed superheroes. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is what... Wasn't... Oh, what was that called? Oh, uh, I can't <laughs> like remember right Stars now. Pro Stars or yeah, something Yeah, Pro like Stars. That? It's Pro Stars. I found it on YouTube not too long ago. It was did not hold up one bit. So, um, and, and vid, the kid videos and your Captain Ends and all that stuff. It, it really just like kind of fit with the uh, uh, Saturday morning of, morningification of, of, you know, anything that kids could glom onto. So, awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about you, Eamon? Um, I honestly couldn't think of a lot. Um, I started watching wrestling in 2002. Um, and really, like, Slam City is the first, like, <laughs> cartoon, like, sort of thing that I have remember them yeah. doing um, from that era. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it was sort of, like, since it was veering, like, in the Ruthless Aggression era and, you know, obviously we're, we're, they're garnering more with, like, the PG stuff nowadays, but I don't really remember any big, like, cartoon based stuff I, I i i think this i mean the slam city stuff from what i've seen has been great so i'm i'm, I'm interested in that maybe i i, I like the way that they're doing more like cartoony stuff mm -hmm. you know it's, it's fun awesome awesome uh riz let's let's hit you up i know you you still got one on i do have one <laughs> uh bret hart going into the mansion of mr burns oh and buying it. what uh, Damn you. Come on. 
This place has got old man stink. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was his how, only how, line. Wow. That was the only line. Is and he... also that, that brought up the whole the whole uh, WWE, WWF magazine uh, cover with Bret, Bret Hart and Bart Simpson in it. Bart Simpson, yep. yeah. Yep. Which is awesome. I think I remember... Uh, I, I, I remember... I think that spawned uh, at the time. Like, I remember drawing Bart Simpson... In wrestling gear, because mm-hmm. somehow I figured out how to write, you know, draw that like profile of, of Bart Simpson all the time. And we, like, me and a friend would just like draw him as Bret Hart, draw him as you know whoever else was big at the time. And I wonder if that, that was that, start, that was that started at before the whole, you know, oh, I'm gonna draw a South Park character with wrestling gear on and make cool <laughs> pictures of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, I found the picture and I'm just staring at it right now. <laughs> I gotta find this now. That's awesome. Here, I'll, I'll put it, I'll put it in here. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Matt Carlin. Continue, though. Matt Carlin. While we're bringing that up, do you have one? Uh, it's not a cartoon, but I remember the time The Rock hosted Saturday Night Live, uh-huh. like right before WrestleMania 2000. Nick Atro. I felt like bringing it up only because that uh, eventually Mick Foley and the big show and Triple H also did like cameos. And uh, that's just fun because then it allows us to say Triple H was once on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and the big show. Nick Atro. For that. For that. And like Mick Foley and, and Vince McMahon. Kind of a weird, um, kind of a big crossover, mm-hmm. you know. It's pretty mainstream. Yeah, I, that, was, that, was, that was his first venture. They turned into, oh my God, look at all the crap he's done. So yeah, that was really that was before all his all the movies, right? Mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. before, um, was that before the Mummy Two? I think it was in conjunction for like maybe Mummy Two or yeah, it was, or it was Scorpion in conjunction King with the Mummy Returns. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I mean that that was the beginning, definitely the beginning. So I uh, found the picture that I was looking for. Yeah, I saw that pop up there. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love I love the little uh, titles on the side on the like, going everywhere about mankind brutality or brilliance. What isn't he telling us? <laughs> the wild man and sable trapped in the line of fire. What? What does that even mean? I don't know. That's weird. I it means someone means was now. targeting sable. Mm. And it turned <laughs> out to be Mad Mike. Do you have an alternate there for your? Uh... <laughs> Simpsons. Oh man! If you don't, I do. Right. Always take mine, Mike. What? So it's, you always took mine, so it's it, it had to be. You didn't. You didn't take mine. No. You didn't take mine. Mine is Vader appearing on Boy Meets World. Oh yeah. Yeah, Vader is actually a legit canon character in Boy Meets World. Mm-hmm. Like, Big Van Vader is one of the bullies' dads on Boy Meets World, and I hope to God he's in Girls Meet Girl Meets World. If he's in oh, just one episode so of great. Girl Meets World, I'll be exceedingly happy with everything in life. Uh, and going back to that one, uh, how about the Bushwhackers on Family Matters? <laughs> Okay, thank you. I, I actually was just thinking, like, somebody was on Family Matters. I know that yeah. happened, right? Bush- well, Wacker. yeah. Bushwhackers was on Family Matters. The Macho Man was on Hey Dude. Triple H was on the Drew Carey Show. Bam! But and Batista was on Smallville. Sorry. And then you take everybody else's answer. Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Thanks, a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, who else had to go? Jen Carlin's has one, I'm sure. I know, I know what Jen's is, and that's not one of them. <laughs> Jen wants yours. Nope. <laughs> uh chris jericho on dancing with the stars oh wow mm-hmm. didn't think about that one did not watch that one either unfortunately but that's the only season i did watch yeah it was either, it was like yeah, there was that one and then the heinz word one was all the only ones i knew anybody would watch oh yeah and, and i'm not gonna watch this one because billy d williams is gone I heard about that this morning. Team Billy uh, D. I have the whole. I have what I hope is the holy grail of crossovers that should have happened, uh, and I remember watching this as a kid when this <sighs> happened. Uh, you- but have you heard of a show? I know we talked about it times before on the here. A show called Tag Team. 
that was piloted with Roddy Piper and Jesse Ventura. Uh, I think I think the story was they got kicked out of pro wrestling and then became buddy cops. <laughs> That's amazing. Or, That's creepy. With, it's with Jesse How Ventura. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. There you go. Um, <laughs> and there they are stretching. I, th I think in like cop school or something. Uh, so uh, amazingly, cool. I just found the entire episode on YouTube. I am so watching this. <laughs> by the way, what is wrong with you, Sword? This is God. gonna be so horrible. Sword, no. This is 1991. Sword, this has to happen. I need to relive this. I need. Oh, I, no, it's, it's been one of those like like you know in the 90s when you like you kind of remembered something from when you were younger, but you didn't have an internet to see if that thing really existed. Now we do. <laughs> now we mm. do. Um, so with that, if, uh, tell us you remember Wait, when everybody go. What's that? Everybody go. I think everybody here went. If I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, Bobby F. J. Town says Hulk Hogan on Thunder in Paradise. Yeah, I remember that. I remember mm. that. Hulk Hogan was in a lot. Also, of things. Captain Lou on the Super Mario Brothers. Super yes, Show. I'm surprised nobody said that. Aside I from that, I was gonna do that one, and then I'm like, no, Boy Meets World. Aside from that, one. also Sergeant Slaughter making an appearance on there. I remember having a tape with with him on there. I like by accident bought the tape that had Sergeant Slaughter's guest appearance on it. I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. that was a win yeah. for me. Um, Sergeant Slaughter on GI Joe. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Ah, I can't remember on Baywatch. Well, there, there was a Nickelodeon movie, and Jen, Jen's going to have to help me on this. There was a Nickelodeon movie, yeah. and John Cena Fred. was like the manifestation oh. of his father, and he lived in his Fred. 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 Yeah. I said it first. Anybody else ever seen this? <laughs> Riz, I guess you've seen this. I, I've seen only uh, John Cena's part. I have not saw the whole thing, and if I did, I would probably shoot myself. Side note, John yeah. Cena. John Cena in uh, Psych has been very entertaining. Also, Arn Anderson on Tosh.0. Holy. What? Yeah. Oh, Dude, yeah. What? Arn Anderson was... Either it was Arn or it was Ted DiBiase. One of them was on Tosh.0. Oh. I feel like it was DiBiase. Uh, no, Ted DiBiase. Was. When, was DiBiase. when friend of the show, Chris Nickel got a web redemption. Yeah, it was, it was uh, a <laughs> million dollar man. Cena was on ran. Hannah Montana, too. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, and there's The Miz with like... And that's where Miley Cyrus went downhill. Guys, that's where, she got, that's where she got her STDs from. Let, let us know uh, your remember <laughs> whens, uh, any crossover moments like that on the oh, comments uh, for this YouTube video or on Facebook Amen. or Amen. on all the social medias. I'm and uh, Amy didn't say anything about figure it out. Figure it out. All the wrestlers. Figure it out. <laughs> um, With all course. the wrestlers getting slimed, Damon. Oh yeah, I talked about that. Yeah, figure it out was cool. I, it wasn't. The wrestling era wasn't when I started watching it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, and guys, hey, I just want to remind you guys uh, another way to uh, support the show, ProWrestlingTees.com. I, I just got a sale in uh, today, actually. So people are buying the shirts. Go check them out. 